Okay, I also want to go over some of the very common uh, classification strategies that geography students will will encounter when they are creating maps in a GIS. So a lot of you will be familiar for, uh, uh, familiar with these classification schemes. Uh, the first one is called equal interval. This is a classification scheme where we divide the range of numerical data values into equally spaced categories. Into equally spaced categories. The pros of this method are that it's very easy to compute and it's quite simple to understand. But the cons, as we'll see, are that the categorical definitions might be affected by extreme values and that the breakpoints in the categories aren't necessarily going to be round numbers. Another characteristic of equal interval breaks is that the number of observations in each category might vary greatly. So you might have one category with very few observations and another category with a lot of observations in it. So let's work out an example together. Here's a data set of 20 values. The first step when we are classifying data according to equal interval is we need to calculate the entire range of the data set. In this case, or in all cases, range is defined as the maximum value minus the minimum value in the data set. So it equals 92 minus 0, which is equal to 92. After we find the range, we need to divide that range by the number of categories that we want to have in our data. So suppose that we want to have uh, four categories Suppose that we want to have four categories. In that case, we need to make the breakpoints. We need to determine where the breakpoints are going to be. And the way to do that is we divide 92 by 4. 92 divided by 4 is equal to 23. So here we know that each range, each category that we create is going to have 23, is going to have a range of 23 values within the category. Okay? So let's go back to our data set and draw in where these breakpoints will be. The first breakpoint is going to occur right over there. Why? Because the, the first category is going to start at the minimum value, so it's going to start at 0, and it's going to include 23 total values. In order to go from 0 to a number, uh, in order to have 23 values, the values are going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, and up to 22. If you count how many values there are in this category, there are exactly 23 values. So, th so the first range is going to have from 0 to 22. The second range is going to be from 23, and it also needs to have 22 values. Sorry, 23 values. So here we're going to go to 45. And we can draw in our next category over there. Then we're going to have a category from 46 to 68. And finally, we're going to have a category from 69 to 92. So our, our data are going to be classed into four categories. This is the first category over here. This is the second one. This is the third one. And here's the fourth one. Another popular classification scheme is quantile breaks. In, with quantile breaks, we divide the range of numerical data values into categories with equal numbers of observations. With equal numbers of observations. So before, with equal interval, 
our categories were divided such that each category had an equal number of possible uh, data values in it. The length of each interval was equal. The length of the interval was 23. 